Toxoplasma gondii is one of the world's most common protozoan parasites. It affects 30-50% to of the human world population. It can affect humans by altering our personality, thoughts, behaviour and is linked to some mental illnesses. People who are affected by this parasite are 2.5 times more likely to get into a road traffic accident due to the parasite slowing down the person's reaction time. The parasite has also been linked to neurotic behaviour. People who suffer from depression are more likely to commit suicide when exposed to toxoplasmosis. Research has also suggested that the parasite is linked with increasing the risk of schizophrenia. The geographical distribution of toxoplasma has researchers suggesting that the parasite altering behaviour has given rise to cultural differences between different regions of the world. Toxoplasma also targets people with compromised immune systems, in particular pregnant women who are more susceptible to the parasite. The parasite can affect the fetus and there is a small risk that the infection could cause miscarriage or even birth defects. So how does this parasite enter us humans? While our furry four-legged friends give this parasite optimum conditions to enter and sexually reproduce in their gut. Inside the cat's gut, the parasite can combine with other toxoplasma genes and sexually reproduce, creating eggs called oocysts. When a cat is infected, it removes these eggs from the body through its feces. The eggs can survive outside a host for an entire year. They can live on grass, contaminate water systems and can even survive on vegetables and gardens. This cunning parasite has conjured up an evolutionary mechanism to re-enter the cat gut in which it can reproduce. The contaminated sites such as the grass and water supplies are stumbled upon by rodents. When they ingest their contaminated water, the parasite enters the rodent's body and makes its way to the brain. The parasite then rewires the pathways in the brain, in particular the amygdala, which controls emotions such as fear. The parasite uses this, instead of the rodent's basic instincts of avoiding a cat, the parasite rewires the brain making the cat sexually attracted to cat urine, which then ultimately leads to the rodent being ate, and so the toxoplasma can re-enter the cat host and complete its life cycle. Through the contamination of water supplies, it is only inevitable that parasites enter another host, which is us humans. Unfortunately, our brain chemistry is similar to that of a rodent. And so, these parasites have the ability to work on the human mind. Research on schizophrenia in the mid to late 19th century shows a correlation between the increase in schizophrenia and cat ownership. The extent to which these parasites control our mind is not known. There is certainly potential for more research on the effects of Toxoplasma gondii and human behaviour. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.